Welcome to my playhouse and today I have a package this I, I very much think this is a sponsored thing um, Well, the company has sent me this so that I could review it and show it to you and well I don't do that much uh, <laughs> well you might think that I do it much but every time I say yes I say no at least five times so um, yeah sent to the right address thank you very much this is from Lithu Lithuania. Lithu Lit I can't say that. That's an, I'm not very good at that. Lithuania, and um, yeah, you can kind of see it's it's this company. Ooh, that's a lot of lights. Uh, that company up there. S A F Technical something. It's an Arcnet 4 sensor. That's how I choose to pronounce it, and. This is really well wrapped. I need to go get a knife. Back from the kitchen with the preferred kitchen knife for box opening. Um, this company reached out to me and on a normal day I would probably have said no. But I have just had a really funny uh, discussion on Twitter. Um, I, had, I had purchased some trees for um, another YouTuber, Emma Blackery. It was her birthday. I'm not on gift with Emma Blackery, but just to do something nice. I am a fan of her music and I bought her 28 trees. She turned 28 and I posted that on Twitter and someone um, thought that it was a waste of my good money. And we had a discussion on that, about that on Twitter, about this climate change and CO2 emissions and stuff like that. And then just after that, this company reached out and asked if I needed a CO2 meter and I've never tried one of these and um, yeah, I wanted to so we're gonna have a look at that and see um, How my CO2 levels are here in my house and maybe outside and Yeah, I'm very excited about that. So um, that's that's why we're doing it because Morton was curious and when Morton is curious well You might learn something too as I get smarter. So uh, yeah, we are unboxing um, there is uh, that's one of those things to put on your laptop so that no one can spy on you I think mm. as, I, as I kind of share everything well you spy on me all the time so okay so this is a box in a box we have another layer of box so cool um, looks very nice it, it's I think they might have stolen some ideas from Apple here because this is this is very much like Apple stuff. Arcnet. Yeah. Yeah. See that? No, oh, it's too much. Yeah. Well, never mind. It connects to a phone as well. Android and Apple phones. Awesome. Um, opening the box. Which very nice box, must say. No problem there. They have an elephant. There's an elephant in the room. Another elephant and this is what we get. So um, I just read on the web page that this is liquid ink, just like an ebook reader. So these batteries that they include, they, they claim that this might last up to two years, which, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you know, nowadays we are kind of used to having to charge everything all the time. <laughs> so. <laughs> it, they have left the display on and um, telling me to put in the batteries so that that's a cool thing there is a little protective piece of plastic on top of that just to kind of make sure that it's not just a picture of put in the batteries no nope, no nope, no nope. it, it is the picture on the display says that I should put in the batteries so let's put in the batteries and see what happens. So these are quick start guides. Uh, I suppose it also says quick start, start guide there, but I wouldn't know, but I am very much guessing. We're gonna keep to the English one. So let's, um, let's put in some batteries. Battery department. There's a tiny little deep switch here and I need to, I need to find out what, what that does. CO2 calibration. Manual off. So I kind of need to read this. I don't know. There's a little clips as well to set that deep switch in there. That's very smart. It's 
you would find the same thing in an Apple phone, but then it would be to take out the SIM card. <laughs> Very nice touch. So yeah, I need to read that a little bit and make sure that I don't do anything too stupid. Okay, so I have been uh, peeking at this and there is absolutely nothing that I have to do. I am very much hoping that this CO2 calibration, well, I, I think it's way better at, at calibrating anything than I am. Uh, the other one is Celsius and Fahrenheit and it is already set to Celsius, so I'm not gonna mess with that. And it's gonna be running Bluetooth, okay. And this Wi-Fi thinky is only available if you have the Pro version. And I do not believe that this is the Pro version, so um, we don't have to mess with that at all. We don't have to, more or less don't have to do anything. We need that QR code to download some program, but let's start by putting in these batteries, which is included. Um, this device is available on Amazon, at least here in the EU. All the Amazons in the EU should have this um, and I will be very sure to put a link in the description so that I can pay off my yacht <clears throat> which I don't have yet but I will uh, for Yitzu batteries <laughs> funny so let's put those in uh, they claim that this should uh, last for two years we we want to see if it changes when we put that in don't we okay. It, um, it does stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's put the cover on. I have never had anything with an ink display before. So cool. It says that the number in my living room. Well, it's a bit. It's a bit chilly in here. It's 19.3 degrees Celsius. Air humidity is 48. Yeah, I can I can see my weather station from here. They don't. Well, I might be holding this, so it might be heating up because of that. Um, but the humidity, well, it says 45 on my weather station, and it says 48 on here. So that's probably good. And the air quality in here is 673. Uh, that's not well. It's in the green. If the air quality was more doubtful, it would go over to the yellow, and if it's really bad, it would go over to the red. So my living room is not bad. There is a lot of airflow in here because I have a wood stove, and that wood stove, of course, blows out air uh, to the chimney, and to do that, it sucks in air from the outside, and this is an old house, and it's probably leaky as heck. They here in the manual provide a tiny little scale here, uh, 400 parts per million of this CO2 level uh, outside air that's the good air with this climate change going on this part per million which is 400 which is the air quality measured outside in a clean area and um, that has for the last million years been between 200 and 300 then lately with the climate change it is now over 400 and it's it's even higher than that 412 is kind of the average so it's at least 112 points higher than what it has been in the last million years it's not as if we are gonna die for that because you can clearly see that in my living room we are considerably higher so it's not it's not dangerous and then there is 400 to 800 that's optimal air quality indoors hmm, that's very nice to know over a thousand part per million brain connectivity function lower by 15% Ooh. and over 1400 well we are dropped down by 50% so very interesting I don't know how often this updates but um, I sure think that we should try and take it outside I changed my mind it's raining outside so we are sticking it out the window right now and it already dropped down almost 200 points 481 so I think maybe we can shake it and have some some more. It's very dark out there. Hmm. It's not changing right away. And the temperature went up to 20.4 degrees Celsius, probably because I'm handling it. It has some sensors. Okay, this is stupid as heck. Maybe I should just put it here for a little bit. Have it sitting here and see if it changes. 
Never mind me, this is perfectly normal for me standing outside trying to blow air on a thinky without actually blowing air on a thinky. I guess 481 is the thing. Oh, it did actually change. It went down to 435. Now I put it inside in, in the data center here and um, I think it, it might not update that often. I probably have to figure out how often it actually updates the number. Oh dear, we moved into the living room again and it went up to a thousand. So a thousand, I'm losing brain cells here. What was that? How oh, I'm um, 15% down. I don't know why I did that. But um, let's see if I can use some of the leftover 85% brain cell. Oh, someone is following me on Twitter. You should do that as well. So let's see if we can do this. We need that QR code. Just need the camera here. There and go there. There we need our... Oh, there is the manual. Nice. So do they? That would be neat if if there was like the program here. I thought that was what they were doing. Hmm. Okay, you get the manual. So we can see some numbers here. Two batteries, up to two years battery time. Guess I need to go find the app myself. App Store. Uh, I'm guessing Ocknet. Ocknet 4. There. Get. Double click to download. There, downloading that app. And open. And the program would like to use Bluetooth. That's probably a good idea, otherwise we're not going to be able to do much. Dynastic data, would you consider blah, 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 blah. Do I want to send all my data? You decide what you want to do. Add a device. Scanning. Hmm, it found something. I guess that's probably it. Except Pairing it. Oh, we have an pin code that we have to enter here. We'll do that. Four, one, nine, one, one, two, pair. That was neat. That's pretty cool. Name your device. Oh, it's gonna be my playhouse for sure. Did I do that? Yeah, that's correct. My playhouse, no data. There we are. 1019.1 degrees and... Oh, it shows hectopascal, the pressure as well. 1014, that is rather high, isn't it? Oh, it changed over here. 694. I wonder when it updates here. Oh, okay, we can share it on Facebook and Twitter. Or we can find out about stuff. Cool. This might just be a good Christmas gift for the man or woman who just has everything. So, oh, now it updated over here as well. Even the temperature has gone up a little bit, so cool. And we can apparently see some graphs. It's, it remembers what it has seen. The lowest point is 435, then it went up to 1000, then it went down to 694. I'm gonna try and bring this to work tomorrow and see how the air quality at work is. I might be tweeting that out to do something. Yeah, this is the Aranet for home. It's not a cheap box. Um, it might look like a thinky that you would buy for next to nothing, but it's actually, I think it was 139 pounds. And on Amazon in the US, it was $179. So it's a little bit more than a gadget you just get for fun and giggles. It's, um, well, you probably need some kind of a reason to, to purchase this and it just went up. So now I'm, I'm losing brain cells again here. I think it updates a little bit too slow. I would have liked to see some more updates, maybe a, it, for when it's sitting over there and not doing anything, it's fine if it updates every five minutes. When I want to play with it, it would be cool to have an update button. Like, uh, then it would do something and it could, it could take a, a special measurement and, um, and make me happy. 
um, that would be cool so that well you could always go over and press it and, and then update it and there would be some interaction it could even be a sensor if something moves in front of it well it could update that would be cool although that would use power as well so probably a button that wouldn't use any power whatsoever but if you want to check this out if you have some kind of weird need for it like i'm gonna bring this to work because we are always complaining about our air quality at work yeah don't everybody do that but now I actually have something that might just do the trick and um, show it if oh I might it might be wrong maybe it will show me the opposite thing maybe I won't tell anyone in that case so yeah do uh, go check it out I'll be sure to leave a link in the description and if they reach back to me and give me a coupon code that will be down there as well Otherwise, if you watch this video way later, there might be a discount code down there. So you might be able to get this cheaper just because you saw it here first. <laughs> Weird as heck, right? Weird idea for Christmas or maybe you have some money that needs burning here Black Friday-ish. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. 943. <gasps>